These guys right here, they the lawyers? Yeah, uh, National Lawyers Guild and Public Defender Jill Carter. Uh -huh. So she's trying to get them out and they're working out a deal to uh, kind of coordinate it. Uh, some three of the prisoners inside are not familiar with the process. Um, so it's sort of holding things up. Uh, Jill wants to get them out and they don't know to go with the public defender. They say they want to go with a private defender, but if Jill gets them out, they can switch over at any time to their own private attorneys if they if they don't want a public defender. So these two guys, what? Well, who are they again? There are other lawyer, uh, part of the lawyer team. Oh, the lawyer team. Yeah. So for the protest. So if they if they if the private the attorney grab them, they can get them out quicker. Yeah. If they go with Jill right now, who has access to central court? Uh, then they can get out some delicate Jill Carter, right? Yeah. She's out delicate. Right. So she's working on a case. Right. She don't throw all the hair again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she comes out quite often for protesters. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So maybe we can walk once, once she's done. Okay. When she's done? And then we'll ask her about the, uh, the youth. Well, as you, as you know, folks, down here lies at Baltimore Central Booking, right here, Delta Jill Carter. She's on a case right here. Uh, I guess she's going inside and um, try to represent the, uh, the protester been arrested at City Hall. So, I let y'all know what's going on momentarily. Thank you. So they got uh, all kind of painting, food. They got Whitey here. Everybody is uh, waiting for the people to come up. And we got books up here. Just in case you get tired, you want to read. Hey, partner, what's going on? How you doing? Good. Right now, I'm Kwame Rose. Right now, we're outside of Baltimore Central Booking and Intake Center with the 13 protesters that were arrested this morning after Baltimore City Police officers said that there would be no arrest. Uh, they still have not seen the bail commissioner. Still maybe another 12 to 16 hours before they are actually released. And it just needs to be made clear, we ain't going no damn way. Um, also, it needs to be known that it had the commissioner adhered to the uh, first demand, which was to listen to the uh, uh, open letter, which had 19 rules of engagement, this would not be a problem. But because the commissioner continued to ignore us, we are now in this situation. We are not going to be uh, silenced. Our voices will be heard. Uh, we need you all to continue to support. Call 410-545-8120 and demand, or 8122 and demand that uh, the, the safety of the 13 individuals, because we were denied food, water, restrooms, and they even turned off the power sockets because so many people on social media were trending. Baltimore Uprising became the number one trending tweet worldwide last night. Thank you all for the continued support. We need you all to continue to demand for justice. Now, when you're saying it was trending, what that mean? That means that it was the most popular hashtag online. Uh, everybody was hashtagging Baltimore Uprising and following the story on Twitter. Now, in City Hall, you people was in City Hall and they lock y'all in? What happened? Yeah, we were in Say City that Hall. Story. I mean, they, they didn't lock us in, but we refused to leave until the commissioner came and met with us. Um, so, at one point in time, the commissioner said that he was going to come through Colin, uh, Colonel Hyatt. Um, we were tricked. Uh, they didn't come. There was food sent by some of you all supporters, pizza and everything, that Baltimore City police officers took for themselves and ate. Wow. Um, so, yeah, we're dealing with some dirty, dirty pigs. Wow. And that's why we had beef pepperoni. Mm. <laughs> well, anything, once again, now, I just saw a delicate Jill Carter go in there. What's she doing exactly? Jill Carter is one of the uh, only, uh, only 
she's an attorney as well, and she, she's coming to help us. So we, we're trying to get this bail set. Um, I haven't been asleep. I was in there before they arrested. And the only reason why I didn't get arrested is because I have charges myself. Uh, and I, this is, we're tired, and we, 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 if we ain't gonna get justice, we don't, if we don't know what justice looks like, we know what the people who are willing to fight for justice look like. And that looked like you and I and a lot of good allies. All right, partner. Once again, your name? Kwame Rose. Thank you. Thank you. How you doing, partner?